there, I'm Lara from Five Out of Four Patterns and welcome to sewing school. Have you ever worn a fitted skirt or a pencil type skirt that goes just below the knee like midi length or T length and you have problems walking? Your knees are stuck together and you're just shimmying along and can't seem to get a good stride. Well that's because you don't have a vent or a kick pleat in the back to give you range of motion. So we are going to work on uh, the kick pleat today in sewing school and how to accomplish that really awesome detail that every girl needs in a really fun pencil skirt. Let's get started. As you can see, I've got some small versions of, uh, of the pattern pieces. We've got our kick pleat is here, all right? This is our back seam up in here. And I've picked a fabric that's a little busy, but it's got an obvious front and back side to the fabrics. Okay, what I'm first going to do is just turn my fabric my um, skirt panels, R wrong side up, not right side up, wrong side up, okay? All right, now, this is recommended, it's recommended that you apply a small piece of lightweight fusible f interfacing to the wrong side of the overlap, overlap kick pleat side, which right now is, is on my right, all right? So we'll want um, it to cross the seam allowance of the skirt by about a half an inch. So you'll want it to come up this way a little bit. All right, so let's get that pressed down. All right, so we're all, we're all good there. All right, now it says, fold the hemline on both pieces to the wrong side, one inch and press. So let's do that. Now on the overlap side, the piece on the right, fold the kick pleat overlap to the wrong side. Now along, we're gonna, we're gonna fold it, whoopsies, we're gonna fold it to the wrong side along the vertical back seam and press. So we're going to, we're gonna have a back seam here, whatever the seam allowance is for your, for your project. And we're going to fold it. and press. Okay. Next step, take the underlap side. This was the overlap side. This is the underlap side. And we're gonna turn it over to the right side so that the right side is facing up. All right? The right side is now facing up. We're gonna fold the hem, we already pressed the hem. We're gonna fold the hem though to the right side. So we're gonna, instead of folding it to the wrong side like we just had, we're gonna use that, that guide that we have from where we pressed it to fold it up. And let me pin it here just to keep it in place. All right, so now we've got it folded where it was pressed. Now, with a one quarter inch seam allowance along the hem allowance, which is right here, we're going to just stitch right along that hem allowance. All right, let's do that. So here we are, I've stitched um, a quarter inch 
seam allowance there up. Now turn it right side out. So we're gonna push that in, make sure that corner is out nicely. Fold it back under. And now let's press it. All right, and if you see that it's not out, not quite square enough, just get your finger in there and push it out a little bit more. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now we're gonna fold the one quarter inch seam allowance of the under flap. So it's, we've already got one quarter inch. We, we sewed that right under here. So we, it automatically wants to come in that quarter of an inch. So let's press that in place. Okay. All right. Now we're going to stitch along here. Now you're gonna use a zigzag or a stretch stitch. Here we are, all finished here. Give that another little press. Okay, now let's move our underlap section to the side our overlap skirt piece. Okay, so we have our overlap skirt piece here. We're going to fold the same seam allowance in. Okay, so we've got all of our press stuff. We're going to fold just like we did with the underlap, we're going with the overlap, we're going to fold this in about a quarter of an inch and we're going to stitch it with a zigzag or stretch stitch. All right, I'll be right back. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Moving right along. Now it says, uh, you might have to read, since I pressed that there, you might have to redo your guide where you pressed before that one inch. Okay, and then we came over to here. Just want to keep all those guides, those pressed guides there. Just makes life easier. Okay, let's open that up. Okay. Now, turn your overlap skirt piece so the right side is facing up. So here we are, all right? Now, let's turn our overlap piece so where it's right side up. So we're gonna unfold all the places where we just pressed and we're gonna turn it right side up. Here we are. Now, fold the overlap kick pleat back on itself so that right sides are together along the seam line where we press. So here's our seam line, so we're going to going to find that seam line and use that as a guide just like this okay now I'm gonna go ahead and pin this in place just so it's there there we go all right okay I'm gonna pin it in place up here too just to keep things stable all right never be ashamed to use pins <laughs> now so now, now that it's all right sides together, we're going to sew. We're going to sew along this hem fold line um, of the overlap kick pleat with a stretch stitch. Now, you're going to trim the seam allowance of the kick pleat hem, and then we're going to turn it right side out. So let's go do that. So here we are. 
you can see I've stitched along here. Now, when you trim it, it says to trim it um, just at the kick pleat hem, so not all the way across the entire the, the entire skirt. So let's trim it off just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to turn it right side out. And here we are. This is what it looks like right side out. Let's press it. So the beauty of doing it this way is you have these nice clean edges. It's really pretty on both sides of the overlap, both of the overlap and the underlap. Now it says match the skirt pieces right sides together. So let's pull this back this way and let's pull this this way. So you can see, when we put them right sides together, you've got to pull this a little bit. You've got, you've got, this is the back seam of your skirt, and this is the top of the kick pleat. Now, now that we've matched our skirts right sides together, starting about three inches up onto, from the uh, kick pleat, three inches up from the kick pleat, we're gonna sew down the back seam all the way till we get to this point. We're gonna pivot, and we're gonna sew across there as well. So wrong side is face up. Press the kick pleat right along the seam line. Okay. Now we're going to clip this pivot point. Don't go through the stitching, just go up to it. Okay, that just gives freedom of motion there, um, and you, you do need that. Right. Now that we've clipped this pivot point, that gives our seam allowance of the skirt itself the ability to be opened and pressed open, which is what you want. Okay, very nice. Now we're going to turn it right side up. And we are going to then match this up here. Top stitch, it's time to top stitch. Get it all straightened out. Now I will pin this because I just like things to be as stable as they possibly can. Um, and if you're using slippery fabric of any kind, just it just feels better to have it Pinned. Okay, so here we are. We're going to top, top stitch, excuse me, this diagonal seam, which you can feel here. It's this right here. We're going to top stitch a diagonal seam. Now, we're going to sew through all three layers. The main fabric, which is out here. The overlap fabric, which we've worked with, which is this part right here. And the underlap, all right? So now we are going to top stitch a diagonal seam here. We've done. Make sure everything is laying flat. Now you're just gonna feel for where that, it's very obvious. Right. We've done our diagonal top stitch seam there. It looks so nice. And so you've got your kick pleat, and it's just a lovely finished look. You'll then move on to your skirt construction, which will include hemming later on. But 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Sewing School where we learned how to do a kick pleat. This was super fun and I love, I really love the, uh, the finishing on this. It just looks classy and it looks professional. So I hope you will subscribe below so that you can be notified for all of the fun things going on here on our five out of four YouTube channel. Um, and uh, I will see you next time on Sewing School. Bye.